Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. I'm not very good at surviving the apocalypse, but today we are going to win if it's the last thing I do. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to 60 Seconds Reatomized. <laughs> this game is kicking my butt. Man, it is so hard. I cannot win, but I really, really am determined to get a win under my belt here. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to optimize my my choices of things to pick up as best as I can uh, a lot of great tips And I've been trying to implement them But you know sometimes just things don't go the way that, that you want them to and and that's life I, Especially when you're living in in a underground bunker after nukes have been dropped on your town So we're just gonna do the best we can. I'm gonna try to grab my family members here. Hello Dolores join me uh, gun gun yeah okay that's cool um checkerboard okay yeah let's let's go with that where is timmy oh i'll grab the map uh tim 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 come here all right all right kiddo to the shelter should i get mj i mean i should definitely get mj but uh i i haven't yet so you know that that could lead to us not actually picking her up i don't know where she is i'm grabbing a lot of stuff other than my child okay mj <laughs> Oh no, I don't know where she is. I honestly, oh, there she is. There she is. Okay, grab her and hey, grab a can of soup and hey, get to the shelter. Go, 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 go. Ted, Ted, get in there. Holy cow. Okay, I think that was the closest I've ever gotten to not actually making it to the shelter, but you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. Let's do this. I got the whole family. We're nice and cozy here in our bunker. Hopefully we have enough soup. I, I feel like I really didn't grab that much soup, but our, our shelves look pretty well stocked. And we had a Boy Scouts book in the shelter already. That's, that's very nice. Okay, so we know the drill. We wanna give water and food on every five days. And we'll stick to that as best as we can. Although what I found is that people get really thirsty on the fifth day, but on the 10th day, is when they get really hungry. So maybe we just do water on the fifth day and then food and water on the 10th day and then just follow that pattern. But sometimes it gets all wonky because like you send some people out and then other people go do other things or they're not hungry. I don't know, it gets weird. Mary Jane used to be cheerful, but lately she is feeling a bit down. She clearly misses her music lesson. She keeps humming her favorite classic pieces, imitating the sound of tuba. She was holding the tuba when I brought her down. Why didn't she keep the tuba in her hands? Anyways, she said she would die for a chance to play it again, which may very well happen if we let her out of the shelter. If this would help to bring a smile to her weary face, maybe we should consider letting her out for a short walk around the house above? No, 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 no. It's too soon. The The radioactivity is, is rampant out there. It's only day two. You can't go up there, kiddo. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. I just, I don't want you to die. Risking your life for a tuba? Madness if it was a guitar or at least a trumpet, but a tuba Playing the tuba won't put soup on the table. Mary Jane isn't happy, but she needs to realize how pointless this idea was brutal So as I understand it Even though contamination is strong because we have a gas mask if we send someone out with the gas mask They'll be okay. So that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna send out Timmy because he is a bold and fearless explorer and I believe in him. Also, he's incredibly expendable. Sorry, Tim. Hopefully you didn't hear that. Give Tim the gas mask and send him on his way. Don't die. Okay, it's day five. Let's give him something to drink. Everybody's dehydrated, aren't they? Yes, they are, but they're not hungry. Wouldn't you know it, our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary. For some reason, she was hiding it in the scout book we keep in our shelter. We have no doubts what needs to be done right now. Each of us must be assigned a role and the diary must be read aloud, right? No! Poor Mary Jane, no, you can't do that to a teenage girl. You're gonna leave some very deep emotional scars. Don't do it! Mary Jane thanked us for respecting her privacy. She then ripped out and tore all of the pages, set them on fire, stomped on them, and fed them to a mutated rat outside. Seems normal. Okay. People get full rations. It's day 10. Eat up, drink up, be happy. I don't have a radio. We're doomed. 
Hopefully not. We must defend ourselves against the scavengers. Use the axe. Oh, please don't hurt me. My axe is gone. But Timmy's back, right? And he brought home two cans of soup and two bottles of water and bug spray, which is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Now, should we send out another expedition? We could send out Mary Jane. Let's send out Mary Jane. We'll give her the gas mask, she'll be fine. We've got a small group of ragged survivors that are asking for supplies. How much soup do we have? I will give them soup. I feel like I have a little bit to spare. And I got a radio, holy cow. Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by thankful refugees. Hugs can kill you, you know. Luckily for us, they decided to continue their journey to get somewhere safe before the sunset. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. They would not take no for an answer and soon left waving goodbye until they disappeared amongst the rubble. Let's go. Timmy is starving and so is Ted, so I'm going to give them soup. And I'm going to send out Mary Jane with the gas mask. You got this, Mary Jane! Yay! Don't die. Let's turn on the radio, get some info from the military. Don't we need a flashlight to finish that whole situation though? Cause like you gotta signal them with the flashlight or something, I don't know. Either way, we're gonna try our best to make this work. The radio is not working and we can meddle with it. Now I do remember seeing a comment about this. I should not do this because most of the time it breaks the radio. So don't mess with it. The radio's fine. It's just not getting a transmission right now. We're good. It's fine. We're sure they are experiencing technical issues. Yes, that's it. Everything will be just fine. See? Just fine. Okay, everybody needs to drink water. I know it's day 19, but I kind of messed up the cycle. So now we're on like a 14, 19, 24, 29 <laughs> cycle. I don't know. Mary Jane, you're back. Mary Jane! She looks kind of bad. Let's see what she brought back. Mary Jane brought back one can of soup, one bottle of water, one flashlight, that's very good. One ax, okay, okay. I'm liking the way things are, are looking right now. Oh boy, okay, we have an expedition. Let's send Timmy out on an expedition. We're sending Timmy out. Should we send him out with the gas mask? Yeah, let's send him out with the gas mask. Oh man, I am nervous about this situation. I just, I just wanna win, that's all I want. This is so much to ask, it's actually a lot to ask. Now, before everybody dies, let's give them water. We received a mysterious note today, politely requesting that we share some supplies with other survivors. We have no idea who it might be from, but whoever wrote this also included a few words of encouragement, saying that we will be in some way rewarded for our generosity. Should we do it? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Hopefully that pays off in the long run. Oh, okay, this is the event where we meet the twin siblings. Now, as I understand it, you can be saved by these survivors. You just have to not do bad things like stealing from the school, for instance. So let's avoid being bad people and maybe these twins will save us. Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. Shoot them, please kill them all. This is gonna ruin our gun, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yeah, that's definitely a very broken gun but the rats are dead. I'm losing track of my system of feeding and, and drinking on the fifth day. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just keeping my people alive at this point. Timmy, you're back. And you have a cool new hairdo. Very exciting. Two bottles of water, two cans of soup, a briefcase. Cool. Well done, Timmy. Shall we send out Mary Jane into the wasteland? I think we will. We'll send out Mary Jane with the suitcase and then that way she can carry more stuff. But do we wanna give her all this stuff? Give her the suitcase and the gas mask? Seems risky, I'm gonna do it. Maybe that means she can bring back more stuff because she has the suitcase, maybe? Weird doctors want hydrogen peroxide but the best we can offer is water. What do we do? You know what? I got water to spare. Let's give it to the weird doctors and hope that they give us something good in return. Maybe? A bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we will ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. And then they left. You're welcome, I guess. Shelter is crawling with little insects. Um, Use the bug spray. Kill them dead. We killed all the bugs and we got a bottle of water. Stash in the corner. 
I like it. Full rations, everybody. Don't die. Give Timmy a can of soup. He earned it. The siblings are back! Just like they promised, and they're asking for our help. Their group is too big to fit where they currently reside, so they want to build a small camp nearby. They could really use someone with an able hand and an axe to work on house construction. Should we send them? Yes, yes, help them. Help them help us. Please, save me. MJ? MJ? MJ! She's back. She came back with a gun. Nice. And two cans of soup. Okay. It's not bad. We needed soup, so that that's more than welcome. The army isn't coming, not yet anyway, that's today's radio news. Instead, they have been broadcasting a request for all citizens to assist them by cutting down trees in the nearby park. We don't know if some fancy general needs it for his fireplace or what, but they suggested it's either that or no evacuation. The choice is pretty obvious to us. Yeah, yeah, let's chop down some trees. They can have all the trees they want. We lost our axe, but the army got their wood, so maybe there's something good happening here. I think I'm ready to send Timmy out. He's full of optimism. What a happy little boy. She is sick. That is bad. Go get him, Timmy. And uh, should we give him anything? I'm gonna give him the gas mask. Small sacrifice to keep him alive, hopefully. Enjoying the little things in life is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck and enough water and soil, we might be able to grow our own food. We don't know if these are vegetable seeds, but if they are, planting them might be worth a shot. Shall we use a bottle of water to start our own garden? I don't have a ton of water. Let's go for it. Let's grow some plants. Maybe it'll give us food or something. I don't know. Here goes nothing. Soil, seeds, water. We'll see what happens in a few days time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Okay. She's feeling a little bit better. She's still sick, but at least she's happy. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting the, this is the Monty Python thing. They want to check our map. Okay, let them check our map. Oh, sweet. They gave us an ax. Thanks, guys. We'll use it to kill some more rats or something. I don't know. Now, people are very hungry and very thirsty. So let's give them what they need. And Timmy's back. He got bug spray. Anything else? No, he didn't bring back any food supplies. Okay, that's bad, but thanks for trying, I guess. The siblings visited us again to reveal that their camp is almost finished. People are starting to move in and among them, quite a lot of kids. The group strongly believes that these children need to get educated, especially in these circumstances. They're looking for books, comics, manuals, and pretty much any reading material they can get. Take my Boy Scout handbook. Save me. Okay, we gave them our handbook. They're happy. Yay. Mary Jane is sneaking out dating this bandit boy. Should she be allowed to write him a note to apologize for not showing up last time? Um, yes. Doesn't he get eaten by something though? Oh man, what was that? What was that? Oh man, oh, oh, she does not look good. Dolores agreed that an apology note would be polite in these circumstances. Mary Jane wrote one and dropped it off, but came back red faced and furious. She saw the bandit boy outside holding hands with some bandit girl. Mary Jane was so hurt, even Dolores took her side. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. Mary Jane is not, not doing good at all, actually. She's fatigued, tired, sick, hurt, thirsty, and starving. Yay. What is that? Uh, there's a man-eating plant in the corner. Has that always been there? It's not every day you wake up to a carnivorous plant trying to eat you. This is how our day started. Curse Mary Jane's plant and any gardening ambitions we had. Who would have guessed the seed would grow into a bloodthirsty demon? We need to get rid of it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Very cool. I'm gonna kill it with the axe. Kill it dead. It is dead. But so is my axe. Well, we got two cans of soup from killing the plant. So I guess that's good. But we did lose our axe. A group of bandits just attacked us. Uh, give them the harmonica. P play the harmonica. It'll, it'll make them dance. I don't know. I think that it saves us, though. They lowered down their weapons and cried a few tears, surprised by the beauty of our music. They will let us live today. Okay, yay! It worked out. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They want us to send one person out to meet them. Sounds like some kind of precaution? Or a trick? We hope we know what we're getting into. Who should we send? Yikes. I'm gonna send out Mary Jane, because she's already in really bad shape. 
Okay, go get him, Mary Jane. Save us. Oh, she came back. She came back. We managed to make it to the meeting in time. We tried our best to answer the questions the soldiers asked us. Let's hope we fulfilled their expectations and our ragged appearance didn't make a bad impression. Hmm. Should I have sent someone who was a little bit healthier? I guess, maybe, I don't know. We are running very low on supplies. I do not like the way things are going right now. I think I need to send someone out. I'm gonna send out Dolores. No, actually, I think I'm gonna send out Ted. When the group dressed in lab coats came over a while back asking for water, we had doubts about their identities, but no more. They came back today and gave us some injections. We don't know what it was, but we already feel so much better and all the colors are so bright. Oh, Mary Jane's healed. She's not sick and dying anymore. Okay, okay. So we gave them water and it kind of paid off in the long run, sort of. I'm sending out Ted. I'm gonna give him a gun? No. I'm just gonna send him out empty handed. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Should we open the door? Yes. Uh, do it. Do it, you coward. No, no. What? What? A new hope? The twins! Is it the twins? We were ecstatic when our friends came over today to officially invite us into their new camp. The siblings said they are incredibly grateful for all the help and assistance we provided. They claim the whole thing wouldn't be possible without us! They swear they already made a separate house for us, all furnished and with some of our own supplies. And there are plenty of families waiting to meet us there. We can't wait to be between people again. Maybe the world isn't as bad as it looks. We can't wait to start our new, more peaceful and normal life. Goodbye, little shelter. You have been our home for a long time, but today it's time to move on and the future is looking really bright. I did it! Oh my gosh! We beat it. I can't believe it. Day 55. Holy cow! You survived! Ha <laughs> ha! And nobody actually died. I mean, Ted was gone, but he didn't die that we know of. Let's go! Oh, I'm so happy that we finally got a win under our belts. That was awesome. Thank you very much for all of your tips. I know for a fact that it would have taken way longer for me to actually beat this game without the help from you guys in the comment section. So thank you for your tips. We survived. Let me know what else you want to see here in 60 seconds re-atomized. I'm sure there's plenty of other events that we haven't seen yet, but that is going to do it for now. We got to win. I'm happy. I hope you're happy too. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.